banged up a little bit, and uh, we we went through some testing throughout the off season, and went and saw another doctor, and uh, the doctor uh, operated on me. This was at the end of May, and I recovered fine, and I'm going into camp, you know, 100. percent So you knew during the season something was wrong. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. What kind of discomfort were you having? Uh, just lower abdominal pain. Did it limit you at all during the year? Uh, feel like? Somewhat, but you know, played through it. What is, uh, What did it limit? Uh, just movement, speed, things like that. Uh, obviously, not not anything that you guys could have recognized. Sure. So, but just within myself, didn't feel like myself uh, completely on game days and things like that throughout the week during practice. But uh, you know, I had a decent season last last year. So, but it was definitely something that I was voicing to my coaches and to the trainers here. So, we worked through it and uh, looking forward now. Which but I think? definitely feel better. I feel healthy and going into camp. I feel just where I felt last year. So. Blake, uh, tell us about getting the number two jersey. What was it like? I mean, did you go to Coach Hoke? How did you? How did that kind of come about? Um, well, it was a conversation I've always wanted to wear uh, since I committed to the University of Michigan. Um, you know, growing up, I looked up to guys like Charles Wilson and Deion Sanders, and they both wore number two in college. So, you know, that was a number I always wanted to wear, whatever school I picked in. You know, coming here, it was it was a little different, um, but that's definitely a conversation that me and Coach Hoke have had in the past and did have this off season. And um, you know, it's an honor to be able to wear that jersey. Um, not Charles Wilson by any means. I'm just trying to be the best Blake Countess I can be. But that was a goal of mine, and um, you know, I think it's good for the program. What did he say? You guys just kind of came together and said we need to put some work in, and then got the same fit in the other uh, bar, so. Just went in there and just, you got to really dry your knees coming out the sand because the eyes <laughs> weighted down. What were the things for you? Obviously, everyone talks about your hands, and you've talked about that, you know, that you didn't catch all the balls you wanted to. So what drills did you do? What did you do this offseason to handle? Uh, a lot of footwork uh, with uh, tennis balls. Tennis balls being thrown at me while I'm doing footwork. More concentration. I'm focusing on the footwork and catching the ball at the same time. So you got to go slower and look at the little details. I mean, is that the is that something that you kind of realize, or did you go to Coach Hack and say, "What are the drills I can do?" This is something I realize. Something I look on YouTube. I, I'm a YouTube. Oh, yeah. I'm a YouTube type of guy. YouTube has a lot of stuff, just like Google. So I went on there. And people do the tennis ball drills. I said, "Who threw at you?" I mean, uh, 